Okay. So our job is to find the perimeter and the area of this shape. Every, every angle here is a right angle. Both problems are interesting. So let's start with the perimeter. The perimeter of an object is the length of its boundary. It's a fencing question. How long of a fence do, do we have to buy around this object if we want it to uh, fence around it? So we need to add all sides, but the problem is that we don't know how long this is and how long this is, right? We would add 4 plus 8 plus 7 plus 18, but we don't know what this side is. Well, one thing about rectangles, a rectangle is a four-sided polygon with all four angles being right angle. This here is a rectangle. If we draw two right angles like this, these two lines are going to be parallel with each other, and parallel lines preserve distances. Opposite sides of a rectangle are always equally long. That's what parallel lines do. They preserve distances. If we look at this little rectangle in the corner, if this side is 4 inches long, so is this one. And if this side is 8 inches long, so is this one. Even though this is not part of the, of the shape, it's greatly helpful because it tells us how long this side is. Well, because we're talking about rectangles, this side is the same length as this. And we just figured out that that side must be 11 inches long because it's 7 and 4 put together. So this one here is 11 inches long. And very similarly, uh -huh, except, so for this other side, what do we know? We know that this here is 8 inches. And we know that this whole thing is 18 inches. So what do we have to add to 8 inches to get to 18 inches? That, that is a subtraction question. So this, this side here is 10 inches long, right? Because 10 plus 8 will give us that 18. And now we're ready. We should be careful not to include these two. They, they were just helping us to figure out these, uh, these lengths. So Let's pick a point, and then we're gonna we're gonna go from there. So say we pick we go from um, this corner. So the perimeter is seven inches plus eighteen inches plus eleven inches plus ten inches. So seven, eighteen, eleven, ten plus four inches plus eight inches. And so to find the perimeter, we just add all these numbers. 7 plus 18, that's 25, add 11, 36, 46, 50, 58. So the perimeter is 58 inches. Now, I, I promise that both uh, the perimeter and the area is going to be interesting. So what is interesting about the, the perimeter is the following. If we replace the, this side, this 8 inches side with this side, and this 4 inches side with this side, then we do not change the length of a, a line segment if we just move it around. So we can move this line segment here and this line segment here. So what this tells us that the perimeter of this object should be the same as the perimeter of the full rectangle. Let's see if this is true. So one side is 18 inches, the other side is 11 inches. So if we add them up, that's 29 and twice 29 is indeed 58. I thought that was interesting. Let's see about the area. For the area, we can look at this problem in two different ways. One way would be sort of a subtraction. Someone took the entire rectangle and then removed a smaller rectangle. So that would be find the area of the big rectangle, find the area of the smaller rectangle, and subtract. That's one way. Let's, let's do it that way. The big area would be, well, the whole rectangle sides are 11 and 18. So it would be 11 inches times 18 inches, which is, which is 198 square inches minus, and so from that, it's like someone bit off a corner, we're going to subtract a smaller area, uh, the area of a rectangle uh, that is 8 inches by 4 inches. So that's 8 inches by 4 inches, which is 32 square inches. So what we have is 198 square inches minus 32 square inches, which is 166 square inches. And that's the area. The second approach for the area is 
instead of subtracting rectangles, we can just add. So we can cut this shape into two rectangles along this line. We can also use this line. Um, so if we go back to the original picture, to find the area, we could add this rectangle, that's a 7 by 8, and this rectangle, which is 10 by 11. So the full area would be 7 inches by 8 inches, which is 56 square inches, plus 10 by 11, so that's 10 inches by 11 inches, which is 110 square inches. And that gives us the same 166 square inches. Thank you for watching.